I mentioned beaver in the, the local shop, the conversation turned in a way that was unexpected. But what I did discover was that there are some beavers in, uh, in Old Lower Mill, which is that gated community I was talking about earlier on. But uh, anyway, this whole land was common land while we're talking about privatisation up to about the 1770s, something like that. So all of this southern land here was common grazing land. That's all the, all the men of the village. And remember, some women could own property as well. The, the land was held in common for everybody to graze, graze their sheep. And their, their, it was definitely sheep. I don't know whether it was other animals as well. Uh, and to use the products of that to, to um, help their families to survive and prosper. It's a type of, it's a type of socialism. Uh, it was built into the law and no matter how much the local lord would have liked to have put fences around it and kept the people out, he couldn't. Well, not, not legally and not until there were battles in East Anglia, um, you know, the old pitchforks came out when a, uh, a lord came along and took, took some land to himself. Later on, however, it was Acts of Parliament that made it happen. Uh, it was, and people were compensated for their loss of common land by being given allotments. And that's what happened here. But not all of it. Um, the village of Lee to the south was part of this, this parish too. And when that was enclosed, after the king sold it, the, the common people were not compensated for it. And this is, I've, I've made the argument before that the enclosures were a necessary, necessary evil for the country to develop. Um, though I'm against it at the same time. But it was, it was an evil that was, that was, we needed to do it to increase productivity and move the country forward. It, it, every, things do need to restructure from time to time and that's what was going on. As long as people are compensated, it's, it's properly, you know, satisfactorily, it's not a, it's not a problem. But there were situations where injustices did take place and that did happen here. I mentioned the king, to the, though it was all one big manor, the part that was Lee was part of the forest of Braden. And that's an old English word. It, that was a that was a forest before the Normans got here, and that's an interesting part of um, landscape history. Is the is the is forestation and disafforestation. Often the people rioted, was resisted anyway when when parts of the land were taken as forest, and when they were stopped from being forest, disafforested they rioted then as well. And that's not to say that the people are fickle, there's generations between them. It's just that there are people who were relying on certain types of income, um, certain types, types of access to income building property. And uh, that led to disorder. That's, that's a piece of class history for, for Ashton. Incidentally, it was known for its drunkenness, Ashton. It was, a a place that was that had three pubs in it at one point the law came down on them the local magistrate said no you're only having one later on it was described as being very drunken the place which is amusing because it's quite po-faced now though the conversation I just had in the in the village shop suggests it's not quite as po-faced as it um, as it uh, as, as it tries to pretend but that's class, class history.
there are people discussing English and its roots on, on the internet. I'm speaking to you in received pronunciation. Most of what I speak is received pronunciation. Some people are, there's a certain amount of revisionism going on and it's related, related to wokery, whereby received, pronunci received pronunciation is, rel is, is posh. It's, if you're an educated person, it was expected by the managers of the state that your, your vicar, your teacher, your, your local magistrate, whatever, they expected you to speak and receive pronunciation if you're educated. The, it was something given down from above. It is not a natural accent. It is a natural accent. It is an authentic accent, but it's one based around class. Now there are probably my own accent. I say the part. It, it's mostly received pronunciation. I can't, but I can't pronounce G's on the end. Of, I, so if I said something, I would say something. And sometimes I change THs to Fs and things like that. So there is a common element to, to, the, to my accent, but it's most of it is because I, people around me have concentrated on trying to prevent the local South West, Southeast accent, which is sort of a country cockney these days, from, from coming out of my mouth when I was a child. They spend a lot of effort doing that, stopping that from happening. Um, but some of it sneaks through. So received pronunciation is received. It's not. It's not revisionism. It does. It is received pronunciation is received. The best proof of this that I've seen is two sisters, who are very close together age-wise one who passed the 11 plus exam and one who didn't to any americans watching the 11 plus is a way of deciding who goes to the the free state school that is uh, more advanced and the one that is less advanced uh, it's not um it's not found all over um britain uh, where I grew up, um, everybody went to the same school. But anyway, what was interesting was that the the one that that didn't pass the eleven plus, though both of them have beautiful accents and they're perfectly capable of communicating uh, very very well indeed. One has a local Mancunian accent and one has RP. They're both uh, wonderful individuals, both equally intelligent. And, but it is a very clear picture of how the state manages aspiration. And this means that it, it is sort of a taboo subject to talk about this sort of thing uh, in Britain, but it, it is talked about, but it's, you know, it upsets everybody. But it is, a, it is a situation that if you are, if you look the right way, if you sound the right way, if you have all of the skills, ability, look and accent, you are much more likely to succeed. And it is this vector in society that ensures that a lot of people, those who want to succeed, that have aspirations, will cooperate with it. 